To all networks of Rise Up for Rojava, to all friends of the Rojava revolution and to all comrades who are fighting against fascism. Today, on the 7th of July 2022, the autonomous administration declared a general state of emergency for all regions of northeastern Syria. Over the last weeks, attacks of the Turkish state on all front lines in Rojava, consisting of ground and air assaults and massive artillery bombings of the region, have increased intensively. At the same time, on a daily basis, comrades and civilians are being targeted and killed by drone strikes. Since the la latest NATO meeting in Madrid, it became clear that the NATO and its main actors, the US, Germany, Great Britain, France and Italy, gave the green light to Turkey for a new invasion of Rojava, northern Syria. At the moment, the situation is getting more intense day by day. The Turkish army and Turkish mercenaries are mobilizing on the border, heavy weapons are brought to the border and huge military convoys are sent to the region. We cannot exactly say when the situation will escalate, but one thing is clear. The escalation is imminent. We have to understand what this means. In a few days, we will celebrate the 10th anniversary of the revolution. Ten years ago, on the 19th July 2012, the people of Kobani took their destiny into their hands, liberated their land and started off the Rojava revolution. Since then, the people of Rojava, under most difficult circumstances and with huge sacrifices, have built up their life and land with their bare hands. This revolution created a revival of internationalism in the 21st century and it created a reality of struggle which is an inspiration to all of us. All the achievements of the last 10 years are right now at risk. A new invasion by Turkey into Rojava will either mean the end of the socialist project Rojava or it will become the reason for Turkish fascism to collapse. The region 